welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL 16 round. Sorry, BSL Hasu League 16 round of 16 group B winners match between Gauss in the upper right corner as the purple Protoss and Terran Low, aka Locosito, bottom left. <clears throat> My voice is going to be a little bit grumbly and whatever because it is a sick day cast. This is going to be on Odyssey, which I think you guys are familiar with at this stage. We got the unpowered photon cannon that's blockading the natural back here. This also creates a scenario where if you get a probe back here, it can be very, very difficult to evict that scout, which I think can be a little bit more advantageous for Protoss as they tend to send the earlier scouts against Terran rather than the other way around, but can be ad advantageous for Terran, particularly if Protoss is attempting to do some sneaky gas sort of action and uh, skip Dragoon range or do dra Dragoon range cancellation stuff. It's a little bit easier to keep that SCV alive. Anyway, Odyssey, I still have not seen a player take advantage of the double gas, but it's the 5,000 gas split between two, which means gas is at a premium. <coughs> I will say PVT seems like it does. I haven't seen a Protoss player go carriers yet on this map, but it feels like this is one of those maps that <coughs> because of this protected natural either really encourages earlier drops potentially to deny that additional base or uh, some sort of airplay because you do have three bases that you can grab fairly easily and fairly safely as a Protoss however you do have to worry about factory pushes since they go up right to this temple line <clears throat> you can see where it can it, because of the angle of it all it, be, it can be difficult to go ahead and engage that temple point which where shuttle drops can also be I'm wondering if Gauss just isn't familiar with this map, but right now he's pocketing a probe to the top left. Maybe he just wants to hide some tech here in the upper left-hand corner. SCV scout's making its way out. I don't know if this is just he doesn't know the map architecture and sent the probe the wrong scouting direction, or if he is, in fact, planning on sneaking a robotic facility or something along those lines. So I have Cybernetic score warping in. <coughs> he hasn't dropped that second pylon as of yet. Locosito. Moving in with that initial scout. He still has three SCV on gas. And he does have enough. Well, never mind. He pulled one off immediately to go ahead and build that factory. So leaving just the one on gas. So, which leads me to believe he is going to go for more of a factory and expand. And it looks like we are seeing a pylon in that upper left-hand corner. So SCV sneaking in, sneaking out. Seeing no Dragoon range as of yet. Seeing one pylon and seeing no second pylon. That's got to be a huge alarm. The lack of that second pylon usually is a big indicator that there's something afoot. <coughs> and it looks like it is going to be a Citadel of a Dune, so rapid DT play is what we're seeing. Marines moving to the low ground. Now, does Locosito properly respond? Fake weapons one, so that looks like range to Locosito, but he's still not finding that additional pylon. Looks like he's going to, again, and this is what I was talking about, that advantage where that SCV can go ahead and sneak out. So the Dragoon just has to sit back here and wait. That can provide look, an additional gateway being dropped upper left before this, the uh, Templar Archives. So Templar Archives as well. A probe waiting at the natural, but you can see Locosito has not fallen for this one bit. He's starting to scout, <coughs> see if he can find proxy stuff. Luckily for this probe, it is not going to get spotted. And what is that? Is that like an expended Vespin Geyser or like a tree that went absolutely nuts? Whatever. Factory mines being researched. Mines could be really, really important here. But the critical piece is, is are we going to see an engineering bay in proper time? Five Marines making the way across the map. As if he's still holding back over that area. Initial Dark Templar being produced at both locations. Locosito still not finding anything. So we'll see if he builds a vulture to follow things up. And really the mine drags will be another critical aspect. A lot of marines being produced from Locosito. And a, a probe mo moving its way down takes out the probe. Battle probe wins it. Which might give him the impression that, okay, yeah, he's expanded. He's going for another expansion. So marines and siege tanks walking their way out, potentially to their death. We do have a vulture... That has now been constructed. 
but all of these attack troops are going to get absolutely obliterated by that Dark Templar. Two mines on the front. But is there a path <coughs> for the DT to sneak underneath? Another pylon on the front. The Dark Templar just ignoring all this at the moment and actually going to rely on the second Dark Templar and the Dragoon to provide sufficient defense. Dark Templar gets wiped out on the front. <coughs> now that the jig is up, more mines being planted on the high ground. It looks like Locosito did this perfectly. The Dark Templar now waiting. There's a mine in the way. He doesn't have any mobile detection, so he's going to end up losing all these Marines and all these Siege Shanks. But Gauss right now in the red. Trying to force his way up and get what damage he can on the probe lines. Dark Templar at the very least might be... Well, look at this detente. Might be able to stop additional production. Locosito still getting some good probe kills <coughs> before these Marines are wiped out. Gauss down to just 17 workers. And it looks like that SCV did scout everything in that top left-hand corner, now making its way back. More mines briefly there. SCV being halted. Locosito actually floating a lot of minerals. Vulture has managed to make it in the main with Vulture's speed, getting... I assume additional kills finally wiped out. Locosito scooting up with two additional vultures. Let's see if they get some mines planted. An additional Dark Templar blocking the way. And since it's at point blank range, able to wipe those mines out. So Command Center being built off position. This is turning into a crazy one. Gauss trying to do what he can. <coughs> Still behind on workers overall. Grabbing a Nexus in that protected natural. Turning into a crazy one. More vultures starting to stream out. There is a command, uh, commsat station to go ahead and clear this Dark Templar out of the main, but there needs to be sufficient attack forces to make it happen. Gauss is going to be able to hold. He's not going to die. He is going to get that natural expansion up more rapidly in that protected location. It's going to be three factories to follow, though. Armory also being built, so turning into a weird one to follow up. A Dark Templar sneaking in past that. More Dark Templar making their way up, and this might halt that command center <coughs> construction. Might even be able to take that command center out. More mines being planted, but again, without the detection on point. So the observatory's there. So comsatting, but yeah, they need to scoop in, and, and there's still this Dark Templar waiting in the wings. Taking a bit of damage. Oh, that was huge. Able to sneak out of comsat range, so got to wait for the additional comsat. There is enough energy, however, to make it happen. So baiting it in, Zealot making its way up, wants to try to clear the mines in the path in between. More vultures getting wiped out between point A and point B. The Dark Templar, how did it spot that mine, actually? Was that just dropped? They might have missed that. SCV going to continue to try to build this command center that's now heavily damaged. Gauss really making good use of all of this, but he's still way behind in the supply count. Does have that natural expansion up. But I worry about his ability to continue technologically. This is kind of interesting. Once it gets built, it'll be on fire. So we'll see how that plays out. More mines being planted. Gauss still filtering out more Dark Templar <coughs> to create more harassment. Vultures streaming across the map. So as things continue, actually, Gauss catching up a little bit as he's able to double produce probes and saturate those two bases. This is three factories to work with. The starport being dropped. Locosito has the massive supply lead. Now finally going to wipe out some of this tech top left. Maybe focus on that pylon first to clear that out. And... But as things level out, he still hasn't... So he's built that command center. He needs to repair it immediately as it is burning. And go ahead and land it back at the natural. And actually going to be kind of a, a reset here. So pylons wiped out. Dark Temple are still able to get some more vulture kills. Supply counts are actually even. The worker count about dead even. And assuming that Locosito repairs this, this is going to turn into hopefully a more normal-ish game. Engineering Bay being built at the natural expansion. So saturating that now, at least the front can be denied. And actually, if I was Locosito, I'd be thinking about maybe going for a drop here. Potentially. Or following this up by going ahead and grabbing my third. Text just being left to rot here in the upper left-hand corner. That does still create the ability. A probe being scooped up along with a Dark Templar and a Reaver. I will be curious to see where this probe 
<coughs> migrates to. Assuming it, I assume it's going to get dropped off someplace to go ahead and build, maybe build a sneaky nexus to the north. I don't know. But the vulture's currently out of position to help provide defense. The mine should see that shuttle now. Let's see if Locosito is able to readjust and make it happen. There is a severe lack of detection towards the front. A wraith has been is being produced, but again, that Dark Templar could potentially land in the main. Probe getting dropped off. It's making its way out to the bottom right. The shuttle's still waiting along that corner edge. There is a turret that will prevent potentially drops at that location, but if it gets anywhere near the main, could wreak a lot of havoc. <coughs> so, <clears throat> sneaking out to the corner, good turret running placement, and now that Wraith is on the hunt, and that might be it for the shuttle. Let's see if it just unload. Oh man, in no man's land, so not able to unload. That was a lot of tech to lose. Looks like cannon being warped. And now Locosito moving out with nothing but vultures. He's really been light on the siege tank count, despite the double machine shop. So filtering out all sorts of units. 10 supply lead, which usually puts Terran ahead. Two base versus two base, which also puts Terran ahead, theoretically. Pylons being built the bottom right. So Gao's going to try to make up for this by grabbing a sneaky nexus on an out, kind of an out sneak position there. Regardless, plus one weapons has been upgraded. We got plus two weapons and plus one armor on the way. And three more factories for a full count of six. Locosito is not messing around. He wants to end it. I think he's in a decent supply position where I don't know. And oh, the Wraith taking some damage, but at least scouting that. Might be able to get some damage down on the, the gas. And there's no way to go back and defend this <coughs> without a spare cannon as well. And Gauss still hasn't grabbed his natural out of this location. I am a little bit surprised that Locusito hasn't gone for this protected expansion. Vulture is going to go ahead and wander up and clear out what's left here. Top left. But in a minute, you're going to see a pretty sizable attack force. It's really going to have a good amount of upgrades. The dropship is easily just going to be... Okay, how did the Dragoon... Sp okay, Shuttle moved him down. So Shuttle moving the Dragoons to the high ground even. I didn't even know that this was droppable. Go figure, man, siege tanks up there could be uh, incredibly strong, and I have not seen that as of yet. Speaking of which, dropships and siege tanks making their way to the north. Two dragoons look like they might want to just plant up there, so they might be able to negate this drop, but honestly, I would just drop short if that's the case. S shove the vultures around and take that temple down. I don't know that, although you have a lot of dragoons to self, I don't know that Ghost has the raw supply. To deal with this right this second with a, a full concentrated group and compsat in flurry going out to try to get an eye on what's going on looks like a third base being grabbed to the natural but we have that probe waiting <coughs> maybe to grab another base bottom right St rather than going for the rear edge there yeah dropship just going to reposition here to the north oh actually splitting both ends and sea shanks dropping interior to the base Probe's now scattering. One tank sieging up. Dropship's gone, but that should deny quite a bit. So that shuttle's got to return and do something about that. But I'm, I'm actually a little surprised to see that 9 o'clock grab rather than the rear expansion grab. Dragoons might want to open up their own temple to prevent that nexus from being wiped out. But it looks like some zealots from that shuttle should be able to clear this up. But that's additional mining time that's been lost from Gauss. Even in workers, does have additional bases. He is grabbing that bottom right, but needs to get mining. However, we do have the plus two weapons, plus one armor. Push waiting in the wings. Vulture's streaming into the natural, able to get a lot of probes right there. I think Terran, low, aka Loco Zero, <coughs> should be able to end this pretty quickly. As far as a follow-up, if he just moves out with his army. He can play for a longer game. I don't know that he really needs to at this stage. Woof, really plummeting that probe count down. The Vulture is merciless in the main. Granted, there's four Nexus, so... And actually catching the tech switch to Stargate as well. That should be... If nothing else, the Stargate being dropped should be a, a good, like, go moment there for Locosito. I am a little bit concerned if he's just going to sit back on his laurels because we do have... Look, granted, he's just obliterated the probe lines. But four Nexuses can replenish the probe count pretty rapidly. 
That's four bases that he's mining off of. And really, he just doesn't have to grant mercy to his opponent right here. Looks like he's not going to opt to. The Siege Shanks now making their way out. We do have additional upgrades just in case. EMP also being researched. Another factory being plopped down to bring the total count up to nine. Although taking a rather windy route potentially to the Temple Wall. He's playing a lot more defensively than I would expect right at this stage. One vulture sneaking across, just trying to see if it can find an additional base. If he sits around too long, that is going to give opportunity, although Gauss just still sitting on the three gateway count. I just don't think he's got the raw production. <coughs> so Locosito, all he has to do is attack near this natural, and even though there's a lot of High Templar here, and they probably have a lot of Psy Storm, where was the... Uh, Trying to find where the um, Templar Archives was to see whether we got the upgrade or not, but... Counterattack moving forward. Locusito is drawing back. This is a nice play by Gauss to go ahead and put Locusito on the defensive. Which is going to buy him time. And as you can see, he's already closed that gap to 10 workers. And if you can get the saturation, it'll be a base up. Siege Shanks moving from the north. And Gauss backing right back out. I gotta say, actually, Gauss... Putting himself in a situation where he's going to stay in this match and might even be able to come right back into it. So nine down, he just needs to spam those Nexus, get some more gateways down before Locosito pushes out. But that's really the big if, is if uh, Locosito just continues to stay back and doesn't attack forward. In particular, doesn't attack this, uh, this really critical point at the Temple line <coughs> to destroy this rear Nexus. Dragoon's flooding in retreat. Huge surge in supply for Locosito off the gateway. He's got the economy to roll with it. And now the Siege Shank's setting up. You can see while that worker count was dropped, there's just not enough raw production behind this for Gauss. Oh, he's got an okay amount of gateways, but it's not going to, especially with the upgrade differential, shouldn't be sufficient. So going to need some miracle engagements and some side storms from Gauss here. And those were not it. Only catching the edge of a defense matrix siege tank, it looks like. A lot of siege tanks here. That's a better size storm as far as a follow-up. But actually with that engagement, Gauss doing a pretty good job with it overall. Has really plummeted that supply count overall. So bleeding dragoons left, but only four siege tanks left in the rear. Can he reinforce the size storm really thinning Locosito's troops? He's going to go ahead and grab an additional expansion, reinforcing with Goliaths towards the front. <coughs> Science Whistle picked off on the quarter. The High Templar exposed to those vultures. Oof, just whiffing a little bit with the follow-up size Storms. And kind of a skeleton crew to defend what's left. Elias just charging in, picking off the High Templar, charging right back out. And now it just looks like the, all of the gate, the, all the factory units are just rallied outside the natural. Locosito boxing in Gauss. Gauss recognizing the dire situation, pushing forward another good size storm on a bunch of troops to the front, but he's running out of reinforcements. And there is GG well played at the end. So a nutty one. But <coughs> Terran victory overall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening. Uh, again, like and subscribe out on YouTube land if you enjoyed it.